Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power. And hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. Whoever has ears ought to hear. Whoever has ears ought to hear. I was deaf for a long, long, long time. And I didn't even know it. All I could hear was what I wanted to hear. If I think about most of my life, I was one of those people who didn't really watch the news. I wanted to be entertained. You know what? I take that back. I watch the news for the weather. (laughs) So pathetic. But yes, we wanted to watch the news for the weather. We didn't really care about what was going on in the world. We were completely immersed in our selfish little lives. We would come home and talk about work. We would talk about money, talk about people, (laughs) you know, We never really understood world economics, history. I hated history. I hated school in general, to be really honest with you. I was only there for the social aspects of it. I didn't learn really anything. And what I learned was probably a lie. So let's get back to those who have ears ought to hear. And of course, we've heard those who have eyes ought to see, that type of thing, right? There was one point in time when I could not hear. And people that were hearing were trying to help me hear. God is the one that can open our ears and open our eyes. Not only to faith. As you know, faith is a gift. I was not looking for God. (laughs) Although I guess I was. I wasn't looking for God for me. I was looking for God for my dad. My dad was going in to have quadruple bypass surgery, so I was all about making sure that God brought him out healthy, But that was me asking God into my life because I prayed for someone I loved. And that was when God kicked the door wide open. It was a gift. He gave me faith. And it is a beautiful gift. But so are the eyes to see and the ears to hear. So let's fast forward into the real world. I'm firmly in my faith I am diving into my relationship with God, my prayer life, mental prayer, meditation. I am heads into the ministry that I have, God's work here on earth. And then COVID happens. And then someone sends me something. And I read it and I think she's crazy. (laughs) This chick is crazy. And then it sat with me for a day. 
And then I started asking my own questions. It didn't sit as if it was over and done with. It was festering, you know, like turning into something else in my mind as I was thinking about my initial knee-jerk denial of it. Because I couldn't believe it. It's what's called cognitive dissonance. When we've believed something for so long and then all of a sudden don't, are faced with something else that is truth, that shows that what we've believed was a lie. I got to tell you, this has been my stinking journey in general. When When I think about my initial journey, it was all about, I believed in God. It wasn't that I didn't believe in God. But I didn't know who God was. So to have that confirmation in a supernatural way of who God is in my confession, and then throughout my journey have this supernatural answer in my whoosh, this this physical supernatural relationship I have with the Lord is insane. And it's incredible because as I go down this path of reading, I ask questions. And I ask them over and over and over again. And if you don't think that I ran to him after I saw that, first, I just dismissed it, right? I just put up my hand and said, that that's ridiculous. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. And then I watched it again. And then I said, send me some other stuff. And that began, began, began and became, two words I just merged there, sorry, my journey of finding out what's going on in the world. I always knew there was a devil. I always knew that he was the father of lies. But I had no idea the depths of those lies. And it makes sense. It makes total sense. He's not just going to lie to us about little things. He's going to lie to us about big things. So I say this to everyone out there. No matter what your beliefs are, I ask everyone to pray for ears to hear and let's add on eyes to see. And for those who have been given that beautiful gift, let's thank God because it's hard to live right now. It is really difficult to live When so many, and probably those right in your own family, are not hearing what you're hearing, seeing what you're seeing, because they haven't been given that gift yet. Be patient. Keep loving. It's easy to try and bring that person to where you are, but there's no possible way in my own efforts that I could bring you up to speed of all of the things that I have done my research on in these past 20 months. No possible way. And I would love to. I would give it a real hard effort. (laughs) But there's just too much. It would be like an email of links after link after link after link. And it's not just information. It's link and prayer, link and prayer. And there have been things that have been forward to me that I'm like, this can't possibly be true. And I pray and I'm coming to that conclusion that no. And things that I believed earlier, I'm not believing now. 
after some time, after some prayer, you know, like you need to take the time and have the Lord work on you. So what I would do is I'd read something. If it was a little far-fetched for me or way out there, I'd be like, but I didn't want my own boxed mind to keep me in my own prison, prison, if that's truly where I am. So I would give it to God and I'd say, okay, Lord, if this is true, you know, help me with more information on this. So if I went into another article or if I searched something else, and by the way, do not search in Google, go to DuckDuckGo, (laughs) do the same search in Google and in DuckDuckGo and see what you find. If you don't think we're being censored and things that they, meaning the powers that be, whether it's the government, the elites, they do not want you to know the truth. Start asking questions. Ah, <sighs> It's just so frustrating like this. Let's just take Omicron. Let me walk you through a couple questions. Number one, do you even know what's going on in South Africa? Do you know that a short time before they called out that Omicron was spotted in South Africa, South Africa said, do not send us any more vaccines. We don't need them. Why? They're using HCQ and ivermectin. You know, that horse warmer pill. And you know, that HCQ stuff that Trump said and got wiped all over the earth saying it causes heart attacks. Oh, you know, that Lancet report that they ended up pulling back. It was a false report, but of course the mainstream media never reported on it. Did you know that they are free unpatented drugs that cost pennies that the pharmaceutical companies will make no money on? And did you know they are pushing the vax? So hard, by the way, they changed the definition of the vaccine in the CDC documentation. Anyway, they're pushing the vax so hard, you're no longer getting your free burgers and french fries and college tuition and Krispy Kreme donuts. By the way, the mandates are shut down across the entire United States. It's against the Constitution. So this administration is getting shut down left and right. And this administration and the mainstream media and the big boys like the NFL, the NBA, they're all in it together. They're all being paid. And by the way, did you know that the pharmaceutical companies are 100% not liable for any adverse reactions or death? That's the government that has to pay. And guess who pays? We do. That's why there are certain countries out there that don't use the vaccines because they won't sign that stupid agreement. What country would? I can't believe we did. Believe we owe Bill Clinton that one. I could be wrong on that. I'll have to validate that one. Lots of information flowing around in this head. But the bottom line is Omicron is found in South Africa days after they say we don't need any more vaccines. The least infected country ever. And then the mainstream media takes this Omicron and blows it into this massive thing talking about shutdowns, lockdowns, international flight shutdowns. When the medical person in South Africa on TV said, it's very mild, it's very mild. And it kind of knocks out all the other variants. So, you know, this people are now talking about maybe it would be a good thing to open up everything, get people Omicron, which is way less symptomatic than, or or has way less symptoms, I should say, than COVID-19 or the Delta variant or whatever nu or mu or zoo, (laughs) because that's where we're at. That's what we're in right now. We're in a zoo. So some people are saying quite the opposite. Don't shut it down. Let everybody get this. And then we all have natural immunity, which is what nobody else is talking about. Do you think God made us 
to rely on scientific medicines? Don't you think he thought that we would get sick and that he would create a body that could use natural sources that he made on this earth? I'm not saying all science is bad. I'm saying rushed science without appropriate testing, safety protocols, and liability is a big old question mark. And on top of that, you still get it and transmit it. It's just amazing to me how all of this together doesn't bring more people. And my husband now is like, this is ridiculous. Now he was, he's not like me, guys, gals. He's not. Oh, and he just said, oh, did you hear that one of the pharmaceutical companies, I think it's Pfizer, said that they could put out a vaccine to take care of the Omicron in a minute? We were both laughing. If you were at all awake back in the day when this came out, on Google, you could search vaccines and you would see it takes five to 15, I'm sorry, 10 to 15 years, 10 to 15 years to develop, test, and license a vaccine. Please start asking questions. Stop watching CNN, NBC, CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, Fox. I mean, even like Newsmax and One America News have their moments. Watch them, but watch them with that critical lens. Compare the stories. Why are they saying this and those guys are saying that? I actually force myself to watch CNN so that I can see what's going on. What they're telling people. Okay, this is getting into a long one, but we all need more ears to hear. Because if you think that there's not a gazillion lies flying around out there to confuse you, then you're in la-la land. You truly are like me before my eyes were awakened, not only to God and to faith, but to the evil in this world and what they are doing and have done to us. I mean, I knew there was evil, but I didn't know this. And there's so much more beyond vaccines. So if anyone's listening to this thinking that that's the tip of the iceberg, whoa. Happy to send stuff to you. I've, I've done this before and quite a few of you actually reached out to me and said, yes, please send me stuff, you know, and I could only start with a few videos and then, hey, if you want more, let me know. But hopefully that gets people into... That I, I don't know, into truth. I hate to say it like that because I don't want, nobody wants to be lied to. Nobody wants to feel like they're not in the know. And some people who are in the know might even be not in the know, right? I mean, like I said, in the beginning when I was doing this stuff, I believed certain things. And then I was doing more research and praying more. And then I was like, yeah, you know, I don't know about that. So it does take time. So if you're on one side of the fence right now, you might be on the other by the end of the day. (laughs) You never know where God will take you. So let's briefly pray because we all need this. It's, It's in alignment with the faith walk we're doing this second week of Advent. Really, faith is trust, trust in God. And if we want ears to hear, we need God to speak to us. We need to hear God's voice. So let's pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, come Holy Spirit, come into our minds, our souls, our bodies spirits fill them 
with you. Cast out in Jesus' name. We renounce any lies and untruths. We renounce any deception, any misleading and untrue information. We send it to the foot of the Holy Cross for Jesus to pour his precious blood on it and to receive its sentence, never to come back again. Father, we ask in your son Jesus' name to please fill us with your truth. Give us ears to hear. We beg you. We beg you. You gave us faith. We want to be ready for the truth. We know if you haven't shown us, it's because we're not ready. So we ask that you make us ready as fast as you can. Because the sooner we know the truth, the sooner we can process it, the sooner we can accept it, and the sooner we can help those when they are faced with it. We know we are here for such a time as this, Lord. You've put us together. Why? So that we can walk together and support each other and love each other through all of our differences, through all of the different phases of our walk in life. So we need you now more than ever to pour more faith into our lives, into our hearts, to pour more truth into our souls so that we see. Help us to remove the blinders. Help us to not judge as we read, as we listen, as we watch. Help us open our filters so that you can filter for us. We've been deceived, Lord, and you know so badly how we've been deceived. We cry out as your children for your help, for your comfort, for your salvation, and mostly for your peace. Because truth is sometimes not easy to accept and certainly not easy to talk about. So give us courage to accept the truth and to speak the truth when the time comes. Father, in your son's name, we pray with all our hearts for more faith and for ears that truly hear. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I love you all. I really do. <laughs> I know there are some out there. We are not all on the same page, but that is the beauty of the world. That is the beauty of it all because we're all in different parts of our journey. Some are ahead who can help those are be that are behind. Or some are just not on the same page at all. And it's good to, to, to be reminded how different we all really are. And yet how much we all need to love. Don't be afraid to talk about it. And if somehow, I'll be honest, I had someone come to me in a private message in Facebook and I responded asking a question. Well, what do you think it means? I posted a meme. I said, what do you think it means? And she came back with, well, I don't feel like it's an experimental vaccine. It was a meme saying something like, back in the day when we were kids, our parents told us not to experiment with drugs. 
And now we're experimenting with drugs or something like that, or we're experimenting with experimental drugs. And I went on on, I just kind of dumped a bunch of stuff because I was, I wanted so badly to, to have her see what I saw and know what I knew that I tried to give her a brain dump. And it was only like one tenth of one hundredth of what I know, right? And it was a lot. And it might have seemed like I was just peppering her. So when I didn't hear back from her and she just gave me this little thumbs up, I'm like, wait a minute, this isn't right. So I said, hey, I'm really sorry because sometimes we're so passionate about helping others see what's going on that we may come across a little gruff, <laughs> a little bit like pushy. And, but in the end, we're just like, oh my gosh, here, try this. Look at that. I mean, I could have sent her a gazillion links, but I didn't. I, instead, I just pummeled her with a bunch of questions, you know, like that's basically what I'm asking people to do is just, well, how can this make any sense? I don't know if I, I'm, I'm going to keep going here because I don't, don't think I wrapped up the South Africa thing. So South Africa then, they're shutting down seven, eight, don't remember the number exactly. Continents in the country, countries in the continent. I'm horrible. Told you, I'm not I'm not a historical person. <laughs> Geography, not a thing. <laughs> country, continent. Think con countries are in continents. Shut down three countries. I'm sorry, eight countries and six of them. It's seven or six, whatever. Eighty percent. Let's do that. Maybe percentages are better. Eighty percent of the countries that were shut down by our government didn't even have one case. And oh, by the way, Omicron has no deaths. This is why they're saying, let's get this out there. We'll get natural immunity, mild symptoms, we'll call it a day. But yet you have the mainstream media locking things down, screaming, fear, shutdowns, maybe national travel. I mean, it's getting ridiculous because the people in South Africa which one reporter was in Jen Psaki's press conference. She was talking about Omicron and the guy spoke up and he said, Hey, I'm from South Africa. Why are you shutting down these six countries? There's not even a case in them. Why? Why? Hopefully that's what you ask all day long as well as years to hear. But remember to be loving. And if you don't feel like you've been loving, step up and go out there like I did. I said, hey, I just wanted to come out because I want to make sure that you're, that we're good. Right. And she, she admitted, she's like, you know, this is what I believe. This is how I feel. And it's hard to talk to people about this. And she's darn right. It is. I started typing a whole bunch of stuff and you know what I said? She's right. I'm just going to love and leave. You know, I'll love it and leave it sometimes. But I hope and pray that maybe I planted a seed. Just like with faith. When you come to the truth and you want somebody else to realize it, like, dude, there's such a better way to live this life with God than without God. I mean, you can have like a pretty peaceful, loving life if you prayed and kind of surrendered and gave yourself to him. Heck, I didn't know anything about that. Why do you think I went into ministry? Clearly, I'm not a person that shuts her mouth when she finds something out. <laughs> I'm not one of those people that's a wallflower. That's why I left my career so I can get out there and help everyone who was like me to find that peace and happiness and joy that can only come from God, right? Right? I'm doing the same thing now. I feel God is showing me these things because he knows I got a big old mouth that he gave me <laughs> to help other people. That's really it in a nutshell. And now I'm almost a half an hour into this. But I hope that this gave those of you who are struggling with, with others who don't hear or see what you see, some hope, you know, some 
friendship and camaraderie, like, hey, you're not in this alone. There are many, 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 many people that are in the same boat. And also for those who are listening and wondering if this is true or not, all I got to do is just say, go research. And I hate that because I didn't know where to start. So I just started asking people and then I'd go back to that person who sent me the first one. And now, now I'm a crazy woman and she's coming to me with questions. Hey, what about this? You see anything about this out there? So again, happy to help if you want to reach out to me. And sorry for the long, long winded, long winded podcast today, but it seemed appropriate. All right, everyone. I love you all. Find something more with God. Have a blessed and inspired day.